Well, hello, electrifiers. Why don't you take a look at the next a BMW iX3? Because this is the Vision Neue Class X, and that is what it will one day become. Before I tell you all about the car that could deliver 500 miles between charges, please do subscribe to the channel and switch those notifications on. Because if you're into all the very latest news and reviews of electric cars, this is the place to be. So, the Neue Class. It's a new concept, but not a new name. That first honour belongs to a mid-sized sedan from 1962 that pioneered a whole new design direction for BMW, along with new technology. Which is exactly what this car is doing. Now, we first saw the Vision Neue Class at the back end of 2023. <laughs> And that car, along with this one, the X, showcase all the elements that are going to define new BMW cars from next year onwards. Eventually, at least six new BMW models will be based on the hardware showcased in that concept that we saw last year. Now, even my rudimentary German can help me work out that Neue Klasse means new class and the X. Well, that's because this car really sets the scene for the new direction of all the BMW X cars. Of which, incidentally, 12 million have been sold around the world. So it's, it's got a lot to live up to. Now, as I said at the top, this might officially be a concept car, but in reality, it's close and I mean very close, to what the next generation iX3 will become. BMW delved into the history books for the name and it also looked to them for some design inspiration, with head of BMW iDesign, Kai Langer, telling me he wanted to inject some inspiration from the punk rock BMW i3 into it. That's a car I really loved, so it's good news that its spirit lives on albeit in something much larger. It is in fact around the same size as the current X3. And along with that punk rock i3 inspiration, you'll spot some modern interpretations of classic BMW features. The steeply forward, slanting, shark nose front end has a vertical kidney grille, a throwback from the past, which will be featured on all its X cars going forward. It's flanked by bold daytime running lights along with a wonderful pared back BMW badge. The whole look goes to show that when it comes to design, less is more. Of course, we'll get proper door handles and more conventional mirrors when the production car arrives, but I do think it has a clean, modern design that looks great. But that's my opinion. You are bound to be disagreeing with me right now. So come on, let us know what you think of it in the comments below. Now, one thing you will notice straight away is the lack of any cladding. A big hurrah for that, hey? Large, chunky SUVs are normally covered in the stuff, aren't they? I guess it's a bit to make them look more rugged and outdoorsy and also protect them from the prangs and scratches that they inevitably pick up, usually in car parks. But in a bid to reduce the overall complexity and also the number of parts which go into a car, which of course helps reduce the overall emissions during a car's manufacturing, the cladding has gone. How lovely. Instead, you get more subtle recycled plastic parts. So they're hard wearing, they can easily be replaced. And crucially, they can also be recycled at the end of the car's life. But as bold as the new design is, what's really exciting is the tech and the hardware. Because BMW is merging both, the powertrain software and the driving dynamic software in one control unit. It's basically created an electronic super brain. Super fast, super precise and super smart. What's not so super though is its name, Heart of Joy. Oh, maybe it will grow on me, perhaps. Name aside though, it is very clever and it means that, like Apple, BMW now creates both the hardware and the software. And we all know how that turned out for Apple. Also good is the fact that the Neue Class X has been designed with the battery and motors in mind. Instead of BMW's engineers trying to shoehorn them into a structure built to house a petrol or diesel engine. That is never a good way to build an electric car and BMW has been behind the curve by not having dedicated electric only underpinnings. So this is a very good thing. Why? Let me explain. So I'd like you to sit back for a minute now 
and think about your Friday night takeaway. Yes, I know, but do bear with me on this. So Friday night takeaways, and you get a whole menu full of options, don't you, that you can put together to create your perfect meal. Building a car is a bit like that. You see, it's really nice to think that car makers develop everything themselves from scratch. But the reality is, and I'm so sorry to break this to you if you didn't already know, they don't. They get some components from one place, tech from another, motors come from somewhere else, as does the battery. They basically choose what they want from an automotive smorgasbord and then they put it together to come up with a car. Yes, I know I am massively oversimplifying here, but this basic principle is why so many new brands are popping up and having a go at building electric cars. And also why they're so often criticised for being a bit samey to drive. What BMW has decided to do going forwards is to design, engineer and build more of those bits and bobs itself, including fitting this car with a new supercomputer controller, the aforementioned Heart of Joy, which because it's been developed in-house gives BMW more control over all the key elements of the car and how they perform together, something it believes will give its electric cars a more distinctive personality. One of the key parts of any electric car is its battery. And powering all Neuer class models, including this one, will be a new battery, which has been developed by BMW. It comes with liquid cool cells, and while it does contain more nickel, it has less of the contentious mineral cobalt compared to the battery in use today. Also developed in-house now are bespoke BMW motors, and while the standard models are expected to use a single rear-mounted electric motor, up to four motors could be potentially used. That Heart of Joy supercomputer, oh, such an unfortunate name, will electronically control the motors and their throttle response, which BMW claims will help them deliver the driving character its customers want. Whilst rather insane, power outputs have been mentioned, all of which bodes well for the future of electric M cars including the rumoured four-wheel drive iX3 M60 flagship, which is due in 2026. BMW says that this plan will give more driving range and a shift from the current 400 volt electrical system, which is used in BMW's electric cars now, to a more advanced 800 volt system, means that the battery should also charge 30% faster than the one it replaces. Based on current figures and my maths, that could mean 500 miles between charging is possible. And all of the Neuer class models are expected to support DC charging of up to 350 kilowatts, potentially giving charging times of 10 to 80% in just 12 minutes. Pretty cool, eh? So let's take a good look around inside. Um, and the first thing that really hits you is because it's been designed to be fully electric, the designers have had more flexibility with the interior. It feels spacious and light and bright. It's really simple in a, in a good way. And I love this terracotta coloured interior. As you expect, there's loads of recycled materials in here. Um, the Hessian carpets down there on the floor, I don't know if you can see those down there. They are made from a fishing net waste, which has been woven into carpets. Now, the terracotta colour isn't something you'd normally expect to see in a BMW, is it? But the designer told me that you can expect to see more vibrant colours arriving when we see the car next year. The challenge, though, will be seeing if customers actually opt for terracotta. So what about you? Would you pick terracotta as an interior's colour? Let us know what you think in the comments below. Now, everything is powered by BMW's sixth generation iDrive technology, but you don't get the rotary dial. Instead, everything is controlled from this central screen and you've also got um, functions that you control from the steering wheel as well. What's really clever is you've got six little options up here and you can choose to put whatever you want in, whatever functions you use the most. So let's pop range in, um, ETA, media, ooh, in you go, air quality, the weather, and then all of those six get displayed in this huge wraparound screen that runs the whole length of the dashboard. It's basically a big sort of interactive toolbar that the passenger can see as well. And as if that isn't enough, you've also got a head-up display that will be driver focused just there above the steering wheel. I mean, BMW do have a habit of really over complicating things when it comes to tech 
But actually, there is a lot going on in here, but my first look is that it does seem quite simple and pared back and easy to use. It's going to be very interesting to see if they manage to get this into a production car. What I really love about this car is that BMW has acknowledged that simply putting bigger batteries into electric cars is just not the answer to making them go longer distances. It's better for the planet to use a smaller size battery or make the ones you've got go further and make the car more efficient. And if this new breed of Neuer class cars can live up to its promises when we finally get to drive it, then you know what? I think I could possibly forgive the whole heart of joy thing. So come on, what do you think? Would you like to see a production version that looks like this? And do you think it's going to deliver on those promises? Do let us know in the comments below. And of course, if you aren't already, do subscribe to the channel and switch your notifications on because if electric cars are your thing, this is the place for you. Mm -hmm.